Hey, it's Matt Moscona. You found it. It's AFR LSU, your home for daily content on your favorite team, Fight Tigers of LSU. And we're proud to be presented by BetUS, where this football season get a 150% bonus on your first deposit and a 125% bonus on your next two deposits up to $2,000. Be sure to use the promo code YouTube150. Now, enjoy the video. Former LSU tight end Richard Dixon, good enough to join us now. Tigers getting set to play Ole Miss. Richard, how are you, man? Doing good, man. What's going on, guys? Well, uh, I don't know if you heard just big news that we're kind of digesting right now. It sounds like Derek Carr is going to miss a couple of weeks uh, for the New Orleans Saints. We'll continue to react to, uh, to all that. But, man, I think quarterback play is going to be paramount this weekend with LSU and Ole Miss. Like We all suffered through that game a year ago, the 55-49 game. Rich, let me ask you from an offensive perspective, when you watch Ole Miss, what is it that they do so well? Man, they're just really diverse. I mean, Lane Kiffin is one of the greatest play callers in the game. And the way they set things up, run to pass, you know, they pass to run, they have so many different things built in that, you know, you got to have everybody on the feet and keep catching every read. Did we lose him? No, I'm here. Oh, sorry, man. I thought I thought we may, you maybe dropped out right there. Um Offensively for LSU, this is going to be a clearly a dramatically different uh, game and look than a year ago with no Jaden Daniels. But as you look at how LSU might look to attack this this Ole Miss defense, where do you see maybe advantages or or what LSU will try to do against Ole Miss this weekend? You know, the biggest thing to me is we've had a ninety nine play ninety nine yard drive. We've had a you know, an 85-plus yard drive. We've had 75. This is one of those games, you know, I want to have long drives because the Ole Miss best of doing is, is scoring fast and moving quick. You know, our best defense is to keep Jackson Dart and his crew off the field. So if we can get into some of them long drives, methodical, get the run game going, just keep pushing the ball and keep them off the field, I mean, I think that's what they're going to want to do. Do you think this game may be um... – Rich, I've said maybe like I think this is going to try to mirror that USC game where a lot of people are expecting over a lot of points. I don't think either coach has any desire to play a game like last year. No, I mean, no coach in, in their right mind will ever want to get into a shootout like that because that means you're playing bad on one side of the ball. Um, you know, they want their defense to go out there and be effective and complement the offense. They, you know, your offense, you can't wear one either way. You've got to have times where the, the offense sustains the drive, keeps the defense fresh. And your defense is, you know, keep, don't give up the big plays. Just keep them short. We'll get right back to the video, but I'm thrilled to continue to remind you about our partners this football season on AFR LSU at BetUS. If you sports bet like I do, you got to sports bet with BetUS. Even if you're with a different platform, take advantage of this amazing sign-up bonus, 150% on your first deposit and 125% on your next two deposits, up to $2,000. Going to sports bet. Why wouldn't you take advantage of this? Use the promo code YouTube150. I'll show you how easy it is to use BetUS. You go to the sports book, you hit football, the college football lines are right there. Toggle, you can find LSU and Ole Miss. Look, the Tigers are getting three points at home, nighttime in Death Valley. Are you kidding me? Better believe I'll take those three points at home with LSU. So we'll come over to our betting slip. How much do we want to wager? About 25 bucks. We'll place the bet. It's going to ask me to confirm. Just a few taps, and then you are locked in on your bet. Just that simple. And we're ready to roll. LSU plus three at home against the Rebs. Might even take a look at the money line. But whatever you do, make sure you use BetUS. 150% deposit bonus when you sign up on your first deposit. 125% on your next two deposits, up to $2,000. Use that promo code YouTube150. Enjoy the rest of the video. Um, how much? And Richard Dixon is our guest. How, you can hear Richard and Hanny on the Eagle 90 Point Game Day post game show, and then also the Hanny Cast, which we've told you about. The guys do a great job. Uh, they do a, a weekly film breakdown for each LSU opponent after the game. What are y'all going to do today for the episode that drops today, Rich? Is it going to be a preview for Ole Miss? It's going to be a preview premise. I mean, we're going to go over some of the things that they we watched on film earlier in the year and things that we think they're doing better now. But, I mean, shoot, you're teaching us how to run this YouTube game. 
Look, but seriously, y'all go subscribe to Handicast, H-A-N-N-Y-C-A-S-T, on YouTube or on, on podcast. Richard and Hanny will be in studio doing the breakdown. That episode will drop tonight, so make sure you check it out if you haven't yet. Um, how much better do you think LSU has gotten at the running game from week one to now? Um, 100% better. I mean, it's something that <clears throat> you don't want to put it all on one player, but you know, we don't have – it's one of those things. We've had such elite running backs for so long. I mean, all three guys that signed in my class played in the NFL. You know, your Darius guys, Clyde, Edward, we, we haven't had one of those super elite running backs in a long time. I mean, there's, not trying to hate on Josh Williams, but he was a former walk-on who busted his tail and earned the number 18. But he wasn't a guy that is you, – you sign that guy and you're like, I got him for three years. Peyton Durham's that guy. What – what if Durham? It, we don't. We don't know an update, and what we. I guess Rich, we won't really know until Saturday when they just go tee it up and no. kick it off. But you know, we we were told and reported two dislocated toes. By the, by the way, did you ever have a dislocated toe? No toes. I've dislocated every one of my fingers, and they just popped them back in to you in the next play. <laughs> uh, I think if you're a running back and you dislocate <laughs> toes, that might be a little more challenging. But I, we'll we'll see. If he there's hit, a lot of cane shot for that. No, oh, hey, hey, man. You know, I think. <laughs> I think, Rich, like, if they were playing Alabama two weeks ago, that that's probably what, what goes down, right? He goes in the no locker doubt. room, they shoot him up, and he's going back out there. Um, no doubt. It, let me just ask you a hypothetical. If he is limited, don't know if he will, how much does that affect what LSU tries to do offensively? Uh, you know, what I think LSU does best is they're passing the intermediate game, their dig routes, their cross routes. Um, you know, that 8- that to 15-yard range, our, we run great routes. If you can't set up the second and you know mediums, the third and shorts, it really affects you having to go a little bit deeper on it. So I think it, it messes up what we do great in that intermediate passing game. Mm. What do you think this could be like, man? Saturday night, Tiger Stadium, hundred year anniversary. What's it? You, know, you got to play in a lot of those games, Rich. Those those full throat when games where Tiger Stadium feels like Tiger Stadium. What do you expect on Saturday night? Man, I, I get chills just to set it up that way. That, I mean, that's what these guys live for. A night game, Tiger Stadium, SEC opponent. Um, and I think this one means more because, you know, I always hated Ole Miss. I couldn't stand them. But the way that they're playing right now, this, is, this isn't this is the typical Ole Miss where I say they get lucky and win some. This is a good Ole Miss team. It's the best defense they've had in a long time. I think these guys are going to be geared up, ready to go. I mean, they had a bye week. They know what's on the line. I expect to see our best. Do you um... – I'm curious your thought about just the, the timing on the schedule, Rich, because this is something that I've talked a lot about. My audience has heard me say it. It's not just who you play, but when and where you play them. LSU gets Ole Miss while they're coming off a bye. Well, Ole Miss is now playing. This will be their seventh consecutive game, third consecutive SEC game, back-to-back -back road conference games. Can you just walk me through physically what what a grind like that is like as opposed to coming off an open date? That's the hardest thing to do. I mean, it's, it's probably the most thing. You don't hear a lot of people talk about it. It's just another week in football, but when you're playing on the road like that and you're playing competitive SEC games, I mean, we tell you all the time, Mississippi State beat the hell out of us when we played them. They weren't ever any good, but they're another SEC physical team. And when you get in these streaks, when you get a couple back-to-back -back road games, mentally, you know, you're psyching yourself up. You feel good. It's no big deal. But physically, you're, you know, you're playing at 85%, not 100. You're a little bit more dinged up because you haven't had the time to be in the, in the training room, getting right, taking things easy. I think, you know, our biggest advantage in this game is we had that week to get right, and Ole Miss is still, you know, getting beat up. Yeah. Hey, man, last time, um, the last time Ole Miss, well, I hate to bring up a bad memory, but the last time Ole Miss won in Baton Rouge was 2008. You were on that team. Um, oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, hey, there were better memories against Ole Miss. Uh, what are your recollections, though, of that night in Tiger Stadium? It was one of those games that, you know, I felt like our offense played good, but we couldn't get a stop when we needed to. You know, that was the, the famous – dual coordinators we yeah. had. Um, it was just, you know, I had a lot of confidence in Doug Mallory and Pivato, but when they, you got to have one guy making the decisions and they couldn't get it going. It was just one of those frustrating nights because, you know, even go back to the Georgia game, we, we put up 500 total yards of offense. It got beat. They put up 50 points. I mean, it was one of those demoralizing things is when you're doing everything on your side of the ball to win the game and you're watching the other side not, it, it messes with your head. Yeah, it was 52-38, to 38, that Georgia game. I remember that well. They, uh, I mean, there was a pick six on the first series of the game. It might have been the first play of the game, Rich. First play of the game. First it was play. the ball was going to Brandon LaFell and pick six to the house. I mean, Charles Scott, Keelan, we rushed for over 300 yards in that game.
crazy. And with, as, a, as an offensive unit, you know, we I was a blocking tight end for the most part, but, you know, we dominated that game and still get your butt grips. It's demoralizing. See if uh, the Tigers can uh, can keep Ole Miss off the board in Tiger Stadium. It's been a hot minute since they've won here. It's, it, look, man, it's always tough to go on the road and win, as we saw this past weekend in the SEC. Tigers in Tiger Stadium will try to make that tough. Uh, Richard Dixon, you'll hear Richard and Hanny post game on Eagle ninety eight point one game day. The post game show ninety minutes after the end of the game, following us on uh, whiskey and wine, and then of course Richard and uh, Charles have the Hanny cast. The new episode they'll record it after AFR. And a new episode drops tonight, so make sure you're subscribed on YouTube or uh, on your favorite podcast app, H-A-N-N-Y-C-A-S-T, uh, The Handicast. All right, Rich, we appreciate it, man. Thanks for a couple of minutes, bud. No problem. Talk to you later. All right. Thanks so much for watching the video. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, hit the bell so you're notified when we post a new video. And remember to support BetUS, where right now you can get a 150% bonus on your first deposit and a 125% bonus on your next two deposits up to $2,000. Be sure to use that promo code YouTube150.